Can you see how the sun is covered up by the smoke practically? I mean, the whole sky, it looks like it's clouded over, but it's smoke. I know it's hard on my granddaughter. She woke up trying to breathe the other night. It's been hard on all of us. I was getting over a cold. I wonder how the plants are doing. I know it's the time of year that they die, but they go back to the ground. They're alive in their roots. I did want to know this is not so pretty anymore. I haven't pulled out that. That bell pepper plant is still alive. I dug out one from here and one on the other side of this one. And I, I just feel like, oh, I want to save this pepper plant too. But I'm out of room in the house because I don't have a greenhouse. So I take them in the house. This one's a, a spicy bell. It's still doing good. Things are looking kind of depleted. But I'm amazed um, with this tomato plant that's coming back I would pulled most of it out off the top something had ate through it there was one little shred of it I just left and it's grown back to that but oh my goodness I just don't know how the plants are staying out here all the time breathing I don't think they're doing too well either Anyway, I wanted to show you about the bell peppers. I dug those two out and transplanted. It's the first time I've transplanted a pepper. I'm going to try to bring it in. I brought it in last night. And during the day, I wanted to set it out to get some sun when it's not freezing cold. This is the two. One of them was really tall, and I cut most of the height off from it. It's not looking really good. Guess I need to pull off these little bell peppers. I hate to. I really hate to. But it can't afford to the energy. Yeah, they've actually grown a little bit. I'm going to leave them a day or two more and take them off and use them, I think. Um, even as little as they are. But, uh, yeah, I'll let that kind of get situated to the pot. Bring it in at night. We'll see. I've not tried transplanting. I brought them where I grew them in the pot and brought them in. And that's what I'm going to show you now. This is uh, one of my little areas by a window here. This is my ginger. And some ginger in front. This one is two years old. This is a bell pepper plant. It's supposed to be a purple bell. Why it's red, I don't know. But, um, yeah. I had that growing in the pot. I brought it in last winter. And a lot of the leaves fell off, but it still had some. I took it back out in the spring when it was safe. And you know, it gave me a lot of pepper plants. A lot. And um, I brought it back in. Now this one's not been transplanted. This is one that's been living in the pot. I put a little bit more soil up around the top. I'll add more, more to the soil kind of compacts and goes down a little. Um, if I find some extra worms I'll laying around, I'll stick in there and I put a little bit of tea leaves in there to feed them because the worm castings are so good. Um, what I'm really excited about too, I want to share with you since I'm in here, is my ashwagandha now. I took the little red berries and I planted them in these little cups. I know it's the wrong time of year, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, they, the seeds came up. A couple of these I transplanted, I don't know, a week or so ago. And, uh, they, the ones that I put transplanted into this big pot, they're really actually doing quite nice. Now this is November, not quite Thanksgiving yet. Um, I know it's the wrong time of year, but I love to experiment. And it, we get so much hot weather here in Northern California that right now it's just smoky from the fire. But um, yeah, we'll see what if they last until next spring. And then I'll take the pot out there. Um, I don't know. I might try transplanting one of those if those little ones make it 
I'll transplant them into the garden area. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I wish you all a good Wednesday morning in November.